you guys remember these hoppers? Oh, we did. What was it? Last spring. <laughs> oh, been a little while. Well, I need agreements on top of them. <clears throat> and so we are going to get that done because we did these two, what was it, two years ago? Worked out really good. They need ladders, but we're going to get that eventually. But we do have some grain bins around this farm that are not very big. The floors are old and cracked, and uh, they would sure do well on a hopper bottom. So that's the plan. So we're going to take two of these bins that are hanging out right over here, and we're going to lift them up and put them on top of those hoppers. But we got to add a couple rings to them. We got to take a door off. There's a bunch of things we got to do at home. And we only have a couple days of nice weather because, well, you know this country. It gets windy really easy and we had some really bad wind yesterday and it's coming again next week so we got a couple days to get this done leg arms is really optimistic he wants to get this done so i'm gonna help him we'll get it done i know what better place to store your your crane than uh, on top of an old cultivator <laughs> hey it works but we're gonna take it back to the other farmyard we keep it here for storage take it back to the other farmyard get it hooked up to the bud gotta get the winch on it there's a lot of things to do to get it operational. But first thing is uh, picking it up. So let's chain it up. Some of you are probably wondering, why do we call this Bob's Big Bud Bin Boom? That's because my dad's name is Robert, or as everybody calls him, Bob. And that was his design, and we helped him build it. And that is a bin moving crane that goes in the back of a Big Bud. So what better way to call it than Bob's Big Bud Bin Boom? Poor Big Bud. We've lifted, see, what, nine bins over there, 10, 11, <clears throat> at least 11 bins with this thing. We're gonna add two more to that in the next day or two. Farmer engineering. I know a lot of engineers out there. Look at this guy. But hey, it's still working. All right, now for the big bud. We use a series one. It's a, it's a fun big bud. I think it's got a special place in our hearts because Grandpa bought that thing brand new from Big Bud way back in the day. It was one of the first big buds ever built and uh still makes a lot of work happen around this farm if you guys haven't seen we did do a restoration on this big bud i think it was one of the first videos i put up on youtube actually it's an oldie and well we've learned a thing or two since then like painting as you can see the original paint coming off decals and a lot of other stuff i think there'll be a day we'll go through this tractor again and do another makeover on it because it needs it but for now i think it can still move a great bit So this custom dash is 100%, well, custom built by us, and we are not at that high RPM right now. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, this is my shifters right here. Isn't this crazy? Used to have a shifter in the middle of the floor right here. It was really a pain, so we rigged up a cable system. And you've got your gears here. That's six, eight, four, reverse, seven, five. So with this uh, 13, six, 14 transmission, I'm gonna put her in the low, because we want to go as slow as we can. I just put the clutch in, pull it back, it's in gear, let the clutch out slowly. And here we go. There we go. We're free. Oh yeah. This is a fun track to run. If I told you earlier though, as I said, I need some TLC to this thing. Maybe that guy will do it. Originally this bud had a 250 horsepower, I think it was a 250 horse, HN Cummins. 
and then they upgraded it to an HM350, and that ran for a lot of years. And then in 2011, 2012, we upgraded it to a, an N14 Cummins, rated at 425 horsepower. But, I, we kind of think the engine's not running as strong as it should be. Yeah, we had some water in the fuel tanks we didn't know about. It might have hurt the injectors, the injection pump. We'd really like to have a red top in this thing and have it tuned up to about that 475, 500 horse. So, when the day comes, we might do that if we can find an engine. But for now, it does a pretty good job. It does a good job. Now this tractor weighs about 40,000 pounds, which isn't really a lot considering some of the non-articulated tractors today can get about that much. <laughs> well, actually more. <laughs> so, but in its day, in 1960s, early 70s, this was a big tractor. And, uh, you know, if you fill the tires full of water, you could probably get it up to that 50,000 pound range, but I just don't know if we're gonna be using this thing for that kind of field work anymore. You know, this is a pretty rigged, modified, fabricated crane, but for how often we use it, we don't need to modify it anymore. It'll be fine, it'll work. It's a little bit of a hassle hooking up to the bud, but once you get it on there, it's good. So he's gonna back up, line it up, and then we'll have to take the loader, lift this up, or we might use the case here. I don't know which one we're gonna use. Um, and then we can back it underneath, pin it, and then once it's pinned, we'll lift this up and then hook up all the cables. And uh, yeah, get a couple other things done on it. You wanna use the skid steer to lift this? Or? I was just gonna ask, yeah. Can we use the case steer to probably okay. uh, the stages? Yeah, I'll go get it. those sea lug style tracks on this case here. I was doing the research at the time and I read that they were supposed to have been really good on ride quality. I kind of don't know about that. It sure seems like it still bounces around pretty hard. That's just probably the reality of tracks, but I kind of wonder now if I wish I would have put just the really small lug tracks on this thing. All right, the Boss Big Bud Bid Boom is pinned at the bottom. Two large pins. We got the actual winch cable ran all the way out with a weight on the end, so when we pick it up, we don't have to worry about trying to use a scissor lift to get up there to put the cable on it. So now we gotta do the fun part, which would be the loader, and lift this thing slowly, tilting it up to the angle we want. Leg arms has got these cables, the main ones, and he's gonna attach them to the frame of the tractor in some spots. So, let's get to lifting. I get the flagpole up there now. Ah, oh, I should have thought of that sooner. Man. No, I'm not gonna climb it.
now I've got the butt in place. This is gonna be the tire we're gonna use to pull from the top. We've actually never done that with a bin this big before, done with smaller bins, but this isn't a lot bigger than the ones we've done, so we think it'll work. Otherwise, for some of the larger bins, we actually have brackets we attach to the walls. They have cables that go to the center to the top. See all that old rust up there from some old grain that was in this? Nasty. Anyway, um, we gotta start taking stuff apart. So, leg arms said we're gonna keep this bottom ring in the concrete because we're gonna put those other bins on top of here. So we gotta go through and take every one of these out and start breaking the seam apart. And then uh, get ready to lift. daylight sure gets dark this time of the year quick winch is tight we gotta switch to low it's on high right now it takes like two seconds to so we'll figure that out but we left a couple bolts still with nuts tight got to punch all the other bolts out that i took nuts off of scott got the door all apart so <laughs> we're not far from lifting this thing but we'll do it tomorrow we have more time so we'll see you guys then guess what guys we got wiggles here what do you say, Wiggly Waxter? Is that right? Brad. 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 Wiggly okay. Waxter, Just, snake. Uh, you know, uh, call, him, or call him whatever you want. Oh. Anyways, we asked this guy, could he come over and help us out moving these bins? Because we kind of need a third person since uh, my dad is kind of on vacation and not wanting to work. So, but the requirements were you had to have 10 fingers. Oh, 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 oh snap. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, two thumbs. I've got it like. I've got like nine and three quarters right now. Nine and three quarters. Maybe a little more than that. Yeah. But well, your thumb is functional. It's functional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just Some, the, tip, the tip's a little bit. Doesn't hurt near bad. I mean, you can use it now. I can open doors. Yeah. All we know is somehow it got pushed through the paperwork and he's he's uh, qualified. Uh, We're certified to be. Good. He's good. He's good. Letting the big bud warm up. And uh, while it's doing that, I'll explain a little something. So we're leaving this bottom sheet in the concrete. We're taking everything above the bin over to add a ring to it to put it on the hopper. Then we're gonna do the same thing to this one as well. Then what we'll do is we'll take those two small bins over there and put them down on here. Now there's a reason why we're taking these two and not those other two over there. These two have thicker gauge sheets all the way up. Those other two over there have a lot thinner gauge. So we're gonna put those ones on here, leave the bottom ring so we can just bolt them right up take these thicker gauge ones, put them over there, and the ring that we add, we're adding siphoners so that it doesn't curl and warp that bottom ring. Now we've already taken out all of these bolts, well, not taken them out yet completely, but we removed the nuts, and then we'll just pound them out and we should be able to lift it up and take it away. I think we got all the bolts out around the whole thing. Now he's gonna get some tension on it. And uh, we're just gonna keep kind of lifting a little bit and prying around the edges to see if we get the seam to pop out. And at some point in time, it's just gonna go thunk and it's gonna rock back and forth, theoretically. Let's hope that's what happens. So we're adding the ring that we salvaged from this bin right here to this bin to make it tall enough. So we put it on the top. Right but because this is the top ring of the old bin, which had the lid on it. This is towards the bottom. So that's the drill new holes. And uh, put new bolts in it. While they're doing that, Brad's in some wiggles, sorry, sorry, wiggles. He's inside tightening up all the bolts we put through. And uh, I'm gonna go through, figure out how I wanna do the stiffeners to stiffen up the sidewall. Cause basically what's going on is this is 18 gauge right here. 
well that's a 20 gauge sheet technically we probably could get away with with such a small bin this is not putting stiffeners in but if you put peas or any other kind of crop in it what's going to happen is it's going to start putting pressure on it and then it'll it could curl the bottom ring and the bin could fall over and just a bad day so we don't want to do that we have the stiffeners we won't have a problem we've done it before in a small bin like this um it'll work out fine but we're doing a 20 gauge to an 18 gauge all right let's figure this out Merle. That's Brad's new puppy. Hey, Hi, Merle. Hi, Merle. He's helping us today. So that's the old door used to be, and as you can see, it's no longer there. And leg arms is inside. And he is not getting out of there unless we decide we want to lift the bin up and let him out. Need some more bolts, the old stuff, the old square nuts, and uh, fortunately, got a door right here to go through. That's convenient. Huh. All right, where are we? Let's see here. Um, right here. Oh, he's adorable. Pretty awesome, guys. Let's move this bad boy. Let's put it on top of a hopper. What do you think, Wiggles? I think ready. All right, we're ready. Let's move this beast. Ben fell a couple feet when he was backing up. The winch failed. It's lifted 11 nine. bins and it's time. This is a 12th nine. bin. Nine over there, two here. Oh, no more. Well, anyways, with that said, it's done a few bins in this time. We never had this happen. And the low range failed on the hydraulic winch and it fell. And the bin is okay. It did curl part of one side a little bit, but we just put those stiffeners in there. And so we're kind of dead in the water. We need a winch. So I don't know when we're going to get a winch to get this fixed, <clears throat> to get going, but it's probably not going to happen the next day or two. No. Nope. Unfortunately. <laughs> we'll be able to bend that up pretty easy. It's not a big deal. And uh, because we got to get a new winch anyways, and this bin is not going anywhere, and it gets windy here, we back the butt up with the crane up against the bin, and we'll I'm leave the tractor it. here. <laughs> and he bent the edge of the bin. He's like, you're good, you're good. You're good. You're good. Stop. Stop. Hey, I put the clutch in. The tractor didn't stop. It kept rolling. Anyways, so the weight of that is against the bin, which hopefully will keep it in place till we get the winch replaced. Took it back up again, lifted, put it on there. All right. And Brad gets to go home hunting because I guess we don't need them now. Bummer. Tomorrow would have been a nice day to do the second bin. We really hope we get these two done. And now we're not going to. But that's life. Fortunately, that winch failed there when uh, no one was around it than when we're lifting it and putting it on here and we're all around it because that would have been bad. So, no, I'm thankful it failed there. And it's really weird why it failed. I, I don't know. The low range in it, it started popping. He was driving backwards and he lifted a little bit and then also started popping and cracking and then it went hit the ground. And that's a 12,000 pound winch and that bin does not weigh 12,000. We figure it weighs about 5,000 pounds maybe six at most, 5,000 pounds. So we're not like overloading the winch by any means. Just fail. Stuff fails sometimes, I guess. I'm trying to... I think we can pull the other We're gonna find out what's wrong with this thing. So it locks it in, but how do you, how do you dis take, disengage this thing? Grab a... Well, those gears fell fine. Not gears, splines. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's our problem right here. This shaft's all tore out. See that? Oh. Oh yeah. Right there. She's all tore. We just gotta get one of these. Where do you order one of these at? 
It looks almost like an um, extension. Mm -hmm. It does. <laughs> there you go. See? Tore it all out. Can you pop it this way? Isn't that amazing? Get, something Something tells me they didn't design this winch to lift grain bins. You also have a mouthful of seeds. I'm a chick monk. Now, due to the fact that we can't lift the bin, and this winch here, I am not gonna try to fix it. Um, you're probably thinking, well, you could, you could fix it. I'm sure I could make it work. But the issue is, this is a hardened steel, okay? When you weld on hardened steel, it crystallizes. Sometimes your welds won't, well, bond very well with the hardened steel. So as you do that, if you put much stress on it, you'll break and shatter and bad things will happen. With all that weight of the bin on that winch, it's not worth, it's just not safe, let's put it that way, to try to make this thing work. So we ordered a new one. It'll be here uh, maybe in about a week or so. Um, so I have to put that on hold. And it's a shame too, because that day was such beautiful weather. The next day was gorgeous. We could have moved those two bins, maybe even three if we really got ambitious, but things happen. So that being said, all right, I guess we got other things we can do. I might uh, end up straightening up the shop a little bit or straightening up outside a little bit. I don't know, I haven't decided what I wanna do.